What's up guys, Landon here from the Full-Time Filmmaker team and today we're doing a fitness video studio makeover with a thousand dollar budget with our friend Levi. Now Levi started a fitness training program for kids so they can be conditioned for basketball, football, soccer, you name it. And right now he's doing all of this out of the garage of his house and he has all the equipment that one would need to train and teach people how to train but the space itself is pretty drab and boring. And it shows in the videos that he's been posting on Instagram. Great content from a fitness perspective, but because the space is so uninteresting, we don't have good video or lighting or audio, it doesn't compete well with a lot of the other fitness content that we see on Instagram. So we thought, what could we do within reason, like thousand dollar budget to help Levi revamp this space and help him create some high quality content. And by the way, we're fitting everything into that thousand dollar budget, including the camera. So before you comment, oh, it's a thousand dollar budget, but they're using a $10,000 camera. Now we're gonna try and keep everything under a thousand dollars. So let's chat with Levi. We're gonna check out the space a little bit and we're gonna come up with a game plan. So what is the most important piece of equipment in the garage, you think? I mean, it's all important, but <laughs> I think this side is, specifically more meant for the conditioning um, aspect of training. Uh, looking at this corner, like we have some shelves, it's kind of cluttered. It's like an okay corner. <laughs> if I were to guess, I think this corner is probably the best space. This probably has the most potential right here where we could actually redo the walls maybe and set it up nicely. In my opinion, this would probably be the best space to actually focus on because we only have a thousand dollar budget. If we had more, we could probably redo the whole garage. But with that amount, we probably just need to pick a spot. And in my opinion, I think this is the best. What do you think? I agree. And even if you had to, we can move something over here. Yeah. That's not bolted down, so we can move the rack. Perfect. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's game plan. Let's figure out what we want to put in this space. Sounds good. That's <laughs> kidding. So for this renovation, we decided to cover up the unfinished walls with a faux concrete, something that's super cheap and doesn't take a lot of time to do. We also brought in some equipment like the squat rack, dumbbell rack, and medicine ball to double as props so that we can make the set a bit more interesting, along with one of the flags that was on the original wall and a plant to bring a little bit more life into the scene. For lighting, we had four tube lights to mount on the walls and one key light with a soft box on a standard light stand. So between the plaster for the walls, the key light, the tube light, the cameras, the lens, and the plant that I stole from inside, that brings our total to $1,155. Clearly just a bit over budget, but still impressive considering that that's everything. If you already had a camera, a lens, and just one light, you'd be spending less than $300 for this exact setup, so not bad at all. All right, so we just finished up the studio space and we're ready to film, but before we start, let's talk about the lighting. So we're using the Godox SL60W with a softbox on it, and we have it angled so it's hitting Levi's face and giving him a little bit of Rembrandt lighting. You can see kind of a triangle on this side of his cheek, and that's obviously the Hollywood cinematic lighting style, so that's the look we're going for. This gym is meant to be kind of a moody studio setting. In addition to those key lights, we also have our backlights right here. We have four tube lights from Came TV. We have three on this wall, one on that wall behind the squat rack, and I put these three in kind of a pattern so it doubles as an art fixture, plus it's a good backlight to separate Levi from the background so that he pops a little bit more on the image. And if we wanted to, we could technically open up the garage door and use some daylight as somewhat of a softbox, but we're gonna lose the moodiness of this setting. So most of the time, I think a key light is gonna be the best option. And if Levi is ever working out, maybe over here instead of right here, we can always just move this key light around wherever it needs to be. So our lighting is awesome. It's all set up, ready to go. Let's get some content for Levi, actually. I think we're gonna kind of revamp, reincarnate your Instagram page so it looks a little bit more uh, high end, I guess. So it matches a lot of the other fitness content on Instagram. So we're going to do some photos and then we're going to make a sweet promo video as well. Let's do it. One more tip that's actually really important when you're working with moody lighting and you have a big key light like this. It's okay to shoot with the key light, but it looks a lot better if you actually hop on the other side of the key light so that the opposite side of your subject's face is what's being lit. It just adds a lot more dimension to your video. And in my opinion, it looks a lot better. Mm. 
And by the way, we're using the Canon M50. This is roughly $500, maybe $600 camera. You can actually get a pretty good deal if you buy this used. Like I said, we're trying to keep the overall budget under $1,000, so this is our camera of choice if we want to stay in that budget. Once again, here is a before and after of the studio space. It looks so good. Also, here's a look at some of the old Instagram content that Levi was using. And now here is some of the new content that we were posting for him on his Instagram page. Night and day difference. And this is just with a thousand dollar budget. This is a great way to make connections and get new clients. There's most likely some professionals in your area that know their stuff in whatever industry they're working in, like fitness, but they don't have the know-how on the production side of things. So if you can come in and you can completely revamp their studio space, you're gonna have a client for life. And once again, thank you Levi and Paige for letting us come and do this. I think it turned out awesome. If you guys want to learn more about filmmaking, check out our online film school, Full Time Filmmaker, where we have over 15,000 students, over 400 videos. We also have a free one hour filmmaking training. If you want to learn our 10 filmmaking secrets in just one hour, links for all those things are below. That pretty much wraps it up though. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>